Welcome to Web Design for Professional Portfolios. This series presents some basic web design principles that you can use for any website you create, but will be applied specifically to the project of creating a web portfolio that showcases your professional experience and credentials. This second lesson in the series will cover the choice of colors. Here we'll discuss and demonstrate some things you'll want to keep in mind when choosing or modifying the color palette for your web portfolio. While the colors you choose for your site involve a personal choice, you'll want to balance your creative self-expression with your desire to make your site appealing to as many viewers as possible. One of the safer choices you can make is to build a color palette based on colors found in nature. A palette that includes greens and browns is often pleasant to look at. If you prefer cooler colors, blues, purples, and grays can be safe and attractive choices. Brighter colors are certainly not forbidden, but they should be used thoughtfully in a way that supports the message you want your site to convey. Just be sure you avoid too much of a good thing. A lot of very bright color can seem hard on the eyes. Color choice and text readability are closely related concepts. We'll talk more about this in the lesson on text and font choice, but for now, keep in mind that some color combinations, in addition to being viewed as unattractive by many, are just plain hard to read. Another thing to remember is that some of your viewers may be colorblind and not see your colors the same way you do. Red-green colorblindness is very common. This is what a person with a type of red-green colorblindness would see if they looked at our green on red site. If you are thoughtful in your color choice, you can design an attractive readable site that supports the message you want to communicate while still expressing your unique style.